Bhutan has the most stunning rivers in the world. Part of my duty, I suppose, is passing that on to the new guides. Your rivers here are pristine, they are clean. One of the other areas that we include in this training is we are trained them to be more than just guides. At the end of the day, the river is going to be their office and it's their responsibility to maintain that. So we include principles along the lines of um, leave no trace principles, which is an international seven stages of principles of working in the outdoor industry. So we include principles of that. The responsibilities of a river guide is not only being as a river guide, you know, taking down your clients on the river safe and stuff like that. But on the other side, we have been always uh, looking for uh, the waste management, which is collect the trash and then uh, put it back in a proper place. Uh, as a river guide, uh, we are the ambassadors of the river and also like we are more like a custodians of all the environment. Uh, not basically we just run the river, we also try to, uh, I mean like do a cleaning camping along the riverside when there's uh, no groups. So that there's minimal impact on any guiding activities here, and rafting activities, and there's long-term sustainability of the activity as well. One of the biggest challenges we face is rampant illegal fishing, which poses a threat to many aquatic uh, birds, such as the, the palace fish eagle and the white belly heron. It's one of the biggest threats to the white belly heron is is the disturbance, especially in the roosting areas. With the introduction of uh, the rafting initiative, it creates a very uh, synergistic environment where having rafters help us in conserving the entire water ecosystem. The Department of Forest and Park Services also through our uh, water Ranger Initiative. A few of our foresters were trained in uh, river rafting and we have focused on especially patrolling the rivers. So it is a win-win situation for not only the department but also the tourism industry as a whole. I'm very happy that uh, we have now eight internationally certified uh, river guides uh, trainers, uh, also certified in Rescue 3. So they will train river guides in other parts of Bhutan uh, where we have beautiful rivers and this will bring an immense benefit to especially uh, adventure uh, tourism in Bhutan.